what is cracking yo so guys i am back finally at disney it's been a minute but it's okay because even when has been enjoying the whole uh ghost town alive at not spray farm she's been having a really fun time so that's where i've been most of the time but our reservations today are for disney first maybe cruise over to dca maybe go to knots i don't know maybe three parks in one day but we'll find out but right now definitely disney there you go. I'm a little late, but better late than never, right? So it's a little bit crowded today, but I expect it because it is the day before 4th of July. So it is expected to be pretty busy today, but the crowds are going to be insane. I don't expect to be all day long, so I don't mind my late start. But this is the crowds before, or actually after warp drop. So we are moving. So it's a 10 minute wait. For Pirates of the Caribbean, you know we gotta do that. It's a tradition of to come on this ride. Uh, you know you miss that smell. <sighs> yes, that scent. It never gets old. I'm curious. Uh, they don't have the, the Mark Train working today. I wonder if, if they not use them during the daytime because maybe of course at night it's fantastic but also because too many content creators are using this to get the overview of the new updates for the Haunted Mansion and they're trying to keep that secret. I don't know but it's kind of interesting how this is not running during the daytime because there are a lot of creators who, are, who stand all the way in the top and when you go up there you can see a really good view of what's going on in the Haunted Mansion so but it's I know they do use it for fantastic at night so that can possibly be the real reason why but um, and sh I'm just kind of curious to maybe they not doing that because they want no sneaky peeks. Um, I know it's so we did have the capture. We finally got the one on the jungle boat, which is kind of cool. I I've always wanted to go get it. You got it. So if you guys haven't seen that one, if you guys still are looking for the little Toy Story cars here, getting in Disneyland or DCA, there you guys go. Of course, when you come to Disney, you got to get yourself a nice Dough Whip. Of course, did have to come get myself the spicy chili Dough Whip and of course a pork bow. Well, cool little snacks, but when coming to Disney, I always gotta get yourself a Dough Whip. You guys come to the ticket room, make sure you come and get yourself the little spicy dough whip because this is an amazing snack. Of course, I did get myself a little pork bow, but that right there is totally killer. So here, the pork bow, that's a pretty good snack, especially when I'm on the go. Don't really want to eat anything too heavy, too much. A little snack, this, a dough whip, keeps me going into the next like little location I'm going to go to. I like this, it's not bad. The spy was tracked here, a small outpost on a small planet. Your mission was clear. I love making my way over here to Toontown to get on the Mickey Minaret Railroad ride, but damn, is this section of the park always so crowded. But it's normal, it's kids, but still, it's always so crowded. You come out to those large crowds. I ain't gonna lie, I kinda like this. I kinda like the Dark Vader little um, backpacks. Of course, they have the Dark Vader ears. Uh, it's been a minute since I've been out here, but that's actually really cool. Okay, I haven't seen these before, but uh, the Rise of Resistance and Star Wars Millennium Falcon posters? That's not, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I like those little pictures there as well. Those pictures there are pretty cool, but those two posters for the actual ride? Pretty sweet. All right, we're making our way over to DCA. It's weird, the, the espionage is kind of empty for what, Thursday, the day before 1st of July? Disney was crowded, you know, certain parts were more empty than usual, but it's 
this one not. Usually this area here is like a lot of people out and about taking photos, coming in. Maybe the heat, I don't know. Walking into DCA, not bad. Um, I thought it'd be more crowded, but I mean, who knows? Maybe as we venture further inside, it might be a little bit more crowded, but as of right now, this is how it's looking. When I come to DCA, off the page is one of the spots where it's a must visit, most definitely. Ooh, I like this. That is so cool. $150. Of course, you get the little miniature Donald duck, or you can get the bigger size Donald duck boat. I also just want to that. This is actually pretty cool. I got some really cool Disney art. I like this. That was cool. Take out the little creature in there, but. And then, of course, that one above. That one's pretty tight. I love this one here. For $3.99, almost the price of an Xbox, you can get that cool picture right there. Well, look at this, they added some more signs. I didn't see this one last time they came. I saw a different one. Of course, we still have Wally, which is cool. I love these, I love this one. This one here, Dr. Fessler. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but that one's cool. But I do like, that. Oof. That is actually pretty tight for $199. Of course, they have some more pictures. Of course, you guys know me. I love Maleficent. Maleficent is like one of my favorite characters. That is pretty sweet. I don't know about this. Who wants art of uh, chocolate bars? I don't know. But everything else, that one is sweet. That one's new. If that thing lights up, which I think it is, that is actually pretty tight. Of course, one that uses just like hidden pizza plant trucks here in the boardwalk area is right behind me. It's one of the easiest ones you can find. Right at the animation building, that guy is right there. One of the easiest hidden pizza plant trucks there is here in DCA. Something I didn't know here about Rita's uh, turbine blenders, but they give you options. Let's go look at the options. So when you're getting your margarita, you have options. You usually have your lime, you have your purple, or you have this one here that's a more popular one. But I want no faster. I don't like that that's the south. But now you guys have options for what rims you guys want. Me, I run original. Thank you. Of course, when coming to DCA, you can see Baymax, because Baymax is back here at DCA. He's been back for a while, but it's been a minute since I've been here. But yeah, guys. Baymax is back. If it wasn't so hot, I kind of like this Sam Francocchio hoodie. That's actually pretty tight. I kind of like that. Um, I don't know why, but I do. And of course, I do like the picture of Baymax. Of course, you still have the little fluffy thingies, but I love that. That, that is actually a pretty tight shirt or a hoodie. Okay, I think I come, then I come to Paradise Girl and try the half and half the burrito, cause the carnitas burrito, the green chili, red chili. It looked good. I want to try it last time I get a chance to, but it's bigger than what I thought. So let's see if we can dive into this puppy. I heard good stuff about this. That's why I wanted to come and try it. Definitely gonna be trying the green chili side first. That is so good. Paradise Grill, they got some really good food sometimes. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. Is this burrito? That was good. Now we're gonna try the red chili side. Both are good. The red chili is so good. It's kind of a little, a little spicy. A little spicy there, but the green chili. Green chili has flavor. Definitely love the green chili side. That is actually really good. Oh my gosh. I should have got this sooner. I didn't think about it, but this burrito is actually really good. As you can see, there's a lot. I mean, there's a, it seems like to be a lot of rice, maybe less meat. Oh, there you go. There's the meat. Maybe some meat and beans over here, but there we go. The meat's in, in the back, you guys can see. But it's not bad. This is a pretty big meal. At like $12 or something, that's not bad at all. I mean, this and that came out to like $20. So it's, it's a good meal. I, I kind of actually like this. The other hidden um, pizza patch right here is in San Francisco. Over 
by the whole little market over here. When you come to Francis So Cute Mar Maker's Market, as soon as you walk inside, guys, it's gonna be right on top. There you guys go. Hidden right here, right underneath the nice little cool merch you guys get to buy. Okay, so that wet burrito that I had at Paradise, <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so good. I, I definitely need to bring someone else with me because that was a lot of food and I'm full. I'm like, stuff. I had to force myself to finish that burrito. No joke, no lie. It was a lot. I, I sat there for a very long time. Love that view. At least a good 45 minutes to an hour just sitting there because that was a lot of food. But I do recommend it. That burrito was really amazing. It was tasty, but it was big. But I'm sad. I've been trying to cut back on my food, my intake. So to me, that was a lot. I think I'm dead. Now I gotta walk around. But it's really hot. Super hot right now. So whew, we're gonna try to walk around. We finished up both parks here. Now I might go to another park. I don't know yet, but it's really hot. We did some rides, tried some good foods, got some snackages. It's midday. Do we end our day here or we keep on grinding?